Thank you very much. It's very encouraging to hear uh, all of you. I think uh, two things, and then I'll come to the question. First is I think the pandemic has shown us fundamentally if health is not prioritized, everything can come to a stand down. So Chief Minister Reddy, it's so encouraging to hear you. To you, my question would be that uh, strengthening of the primary health care system requires a lot of effort. We know of the doctor population ratio. We know that we don't have enough doctors, but the pandemic has also shown us imagining new partnership, the religious communities and their assets, for example. So that's the question to you. And the second question, of course, uh, is, to, is to companies like AstraZeneca, which have made such a huge difference uh, in the transfer of not only intellectual rights and, and, and products and vaccines. India is a beneficiary. India is also a contributor. Is how do we keep children as priority? I'm not asking our <laughs> colleagues from UNICEF, but I'm asking you. I come from a country where 44% of the population are below 18. They have been the invisible face of the pandemic to quote UNICEF. They will need 24 months, if not more, of investment to just come out of this crisis. How can we put, uh, and to you as well, how can we put children back on the roadmap? Um, they are not our priority at the moment. And you were speaking of resilience. One of the things that we say in public health, I head a Gandhian organization in India. We say it's mental health. When we speak of mental health and resilience, we say it's a connection between internal assets that a child has and external resources that a society provides. The pandemic Beautiful. really has shown us that that link has to be established. So to people who can make a difference for children from outside, UNICEF keeps advocating, but we have missed many opportunities to do that. And to you, Chief Minister Reddy, it's so wonderful to hear you speak um, about the healthcare system, but it will require persistence. Already this year, the central budget in India has a shrunken health budget. Mm. So how do we keep that going? Thank you. Thank you. The you minister's to... daughter. <laughs> Those are very lengthy questions. <laughs> Put forth a lot of them. But uh, as she rightly said, uh, we have constraint on the funds. But yes, this is something that we need to deal with it. And uh, in spite of our uh, uh, difficulties, we're pushing through with it. And uh, uh, we've uh, uh, allocated a three year window where we're wanting to mobilize. Uh, $2 billion, 16,000 crores into this whole setup. And uh, uh, we, do, we, are head, we are heading in the right direction and we will do it. And as far as the doctors are concerned, as you I mean, as you've just spoken, we, we do understand that this is a predicament that we need to deal with it. And that's exactly why we are trying to open up more medical colleges. We're coming up, the state had 11 uh, uh, teaching colleges uh, medical, medical colleges. Till we had, uh, till my, till our regime had come in. Now we are actually opening up uh, 16 medical colleges, so covering uh, uh, every, uh, taking every uh, parliament as a unit, so that there is uniformity in distribution, and uh, a teaching hospital and a, 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 and a medical college together would provide for postgraduate students to come in and provide for the health care. So. Thank you.